Today's topic, you have two tasks in life. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is Your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and yes, your business. Now, last night I was invited to a men's group. Well, it happened to be all men, and the idea was the gentleman who started it wasn't somebody I knew. I was invited by another attendee who was there. He wanted to start something called the Humankind Project. Now, his goal was to bring people together who are interested in bettering both their body and their mind and their consciousness. And he was kind of put together his manifesto, so to speak. And as I sat around this table, everybody had ideas of how he should be doing this, how he should run this group or this movement, as he called it. And as they'd gone down, and, and really, it kind of boiled down to a couple things. You know, we were sitting around this table, and of course, there's pizza and beer, and I was sitting there kind of chuckling to myself because... One of the first tenets is health and, and, and wellness, but yet here, you know, was being served at this group of 12 men was pizza and beer, and it was kind of ironic. But anyways, you can imagine sitting across this group, there were, the conversations were great, right? The conversations that were being had were really intellectual, and I liked the, the juxtaposition that was being had and the kind of the push-pull, the arguments, and the safe space it kind of created. At one point, I paused, and I said, look, you know, the Stoics believe there are two things you should focus on. That's it. Just two things. And what the Stoics said is you, you should be a good person and you should pursue a career path that you love, right? Two simple things. Everything else doesn't matter. And so what the Stoics were talking about is really in life, you should, your pursuit should be a good person, kind of like the golden rule. Treat others as you would like to be treated. Now, I love that. I love that tenet. I think it should be taught more. I think we should all have it above our computers because we'd act differently, right? But the one that doesn't get talked about very often is actually pursuing something that you love. Now, I know there's a lot of success gurus and, and business coaches out there that really talk about this and say, no, 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 no. You just need to grind it out and the whole pursue your passion, pursue your love thing is BS. It's the secret. It's woo woo. Don't even, it's all junk. I disagree. I think you can do both, right? I think you can actually pursue your passion and build a great business around it should you choose to. Right. So what I want to know from you is where in your life right now, where in anywhere in your five to thrive, are you making things too complicated? Right. Are you are you actually making this huge list of things that you should be doing and not focusing on something simplistic like the Stoics suggest and two things. Right. Be a good person and pursue a passion or a career path that you're passionate about. So grab your five to thrive and write this out. I know for me earlier in this year, in this quarter, and now as I plan Q2, my quarter one goals for my body were so multifaceted. It was almost impossible. I, I want to increase mobility. I want to lose body fat, increase muscle mass, increase stamina and endurance. It was just too many things to focus on. In other words, it's almost like a, uh, an oxymoron. I was trying to focus on a lot of things, meaning I couldn't focus on anything. So what I want to know for you, if you find this to be true like I did, are you trying to do too much in one particular category of your five to thrive? Grab your journal and look at that. Write out your goals and what are you trying to achieve in each of those categories? Then I encourage you to pick two things, only two in each category, right? Now, I, I get it. There's five to thrive, two is 10. You're like, Doug, you can't really focus on 10 things. Well, 10 little steps to get you to your goal, you can. And I've done it and I've seen it done with thousands of people. And so I want you to give that shot and then make a plan to just focus on those two and only those two, right? So if you're like me, my goals going into Q2 is really to focus my mobility but also my nutrition. I had gotten off my nutritional path and I'm getting back on it. And I'm mobility, I find the more lo the looser I am, the better I feel, the more I wanna lift weights or wanna go running. But if I focus on mobility and I focus on my nutrition, everything else in the category of body seems to fall in place. And I wonder if that's true for you as well. So what I'd love to do is hear from you. Go over to theauthoroftheyourownstory.com, get on our newsletter, but also get on the community over on Facebook so you can share what you're learning. I'd love to hear you meet other people that are on the path just like you. You know, you need to step outside of your comfort zone and meet new people, and especially people who are living life at a higher level. You know, just like this group that I went to last night, what was great is I didn't agree with everybody, but I like the fact that these people were consciously trying to improve themselves so that they can improve their families, their communities, and then globally. 
I really respect that and I respect you for being here with me today. That's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow. Go out and inspire someone simply by being the author of your own story. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.